Hello, hello, ladies and gentlemen, it's me, Jordan Hort 9, presenting you season number six, episode number two of the Paddleborn Career Mode. And sadly, it's the finale. It's all over. This is the last episode of Paddleborn. We've done so much for this club. And yeah, this is the last episode because uh, as much as I'd like to continue, FIFA 22 is literally not long. Well, the time I'll upload it, it won't be that long, but it won't be that long. So this is the last episode, the last career mode I'll do on fi on my channel for FIFA 21. And yeah, less said about that, let's say a bit more about Paddleborn. As we look at the squad last episode, oh my god, it was amazing. It went so well for us. Just everything went well. The team gelled. The defense was brilliant. I, I don't mention this one, but Gabriel, he was just phenomenal. Oh, I forgot about you. All around me are familiar faces. Worn out. Oh, that's sad. But back to the positives. Um, yeah, it was really, really good. The budget, we've got ourselves a 50 money. As you may not tell from last episode, we sold Yusuf Paulson. He's playing at West Ham now. So I would like to get in two signings because this is the last transfer that we've got with Paderborn. So I want to make the most of it. And we go for our first signing. The new substitute striker. The third striker in the squad. He finally gets his big move for £16.8 million. It's the one, the only, Wilfred Zaha. Maybe you're wondering why I signed Wilfred Zaha. Age is just a number. Like I say, he's getting on now. And he did play, and he is playing for Bay Leverkusen, So I'm allowed to sign him. It's now second signing. From Wolfsburg for £27.5 million. Pounds. New centre mid. Please welcome the Spanish Koke. Right, looking at the squad now. Updating them. They're the only two signs I want to make. You may be thinking, why have you signed old players? Do I just go for the young? This is my last season, so I don't want to get young players just to grow them up because I'll take a season or two to get them up to their high potential. So I think the high rated, the better. I think Robert Zaha will be helpful. I think Koge will be absolutely brilliant midfield to Wijnaldum's fit. Well, he's not going to get fit for the rest of the season, but you know what I mean. Well, with that, let's get with the final match highlights now. First one, German Cup her for Berlin. I didn't mention this at the start of the episode, but the goal is treble. We couldn't do it with Charlton. We weren't able to do it with RB Sabadell, but can we do it at a board? Last season, I felt confident. This season, I think we're more than ready. Can we beat her for Berlin with a perfect start and progress into the semi-finals? As we get off of a great start, their former player going for the run. Able to see the lovely pass into Tiago Armada. Passes their goalkeeper. You should have got Thomas and go. Oh, wait, I brought him off you. Yeah. 1 0, perfect start. 21 minutes in, and Tiago gives us the lead in the quarterfinals. It's 1 on 1. The centre back throws it into Jesse. Jesse humiliates Matthew Ryans around and in. And 2 0. Oh, my God, that's just embarrassing. 2-0 and we book a place into the semi-finals of the German Cup thanks to Jessic. Into our next game against Hoffenheim in the Bundesliga. We're first by six points. Can we progress? But this is one of the most memorable games I've ever played. Just one through ball into Javaro Jerusalem. He decides to do a Jessica and around the keeper it goes. Oh gosh, Javaro Jerusalem got jealous and thought, you know what? Let me try that out. And it, we take the lead against Offenheim, but trust me, it gets better. As we lead the charge, it's through ball into that man again. Javaro Jerusalem chip gets saved. They clear it. All in my heads it bounce overhead kick by Dennis Hanebri. That is unbelievable. We had the Scorpion kick last episode of Dennis Hanebri with the overhead kick, and the keeper had no chance. That is just absolutely phenomenal by that man, Dennis Hanebri, who's been with us since season number one. Oof, what a win, what a game, but we move on. 
as we take on PSG in the round of 16 of the Champions League. Things are just getting hotter. We simmed the first leg 4-4, but that was away, so we got the away goal. So the ball is in our court. It's at our ground. Can we get a win? Can we secure a place into the quarterfinals? But we are able to get first blood. Jessic through ball to into the Argentine. Tiago Armada gets past the keeper. We take the lead 5-4. PSG are absolutely stranded in the defence as we are able to get him on the counter. Tiago Armada helps us get the lead against PSG. But things just got better and better as this through ball into Jessic. Jessic with the chip. Embarrassing their keeper. 6 4. Game over. PSG get knocked out of the round at 16 in the Champions League as we progress into the quarterfinals now. The treble is just getting closer and closer. Back to Bundesliga as we take on Wolfsburg. Oh, I had to say goodbye to Wolfsburg. A love hate, mostly hate relationship. And things didn't kick off well. It's just, oh my god. Look, he feels like he's messy. Shot gets blocked. Lopez takes the rebound, it's partial off the post and it was clear to him. That was just unlucky, but Wolfsburg take the lead, can we not let them get the bragging rights here? Of course not, as it's into Dennis Sinebri, Dennis trying to find the pass, he threw balls into Bakariata, Bakariata able to get the shot off right there, 1-1, but no, 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 we're fighting for the Bundesliga title, so we need to go for three points. And we're able to go for it right here. Last chance through board. It's into that man himself. Dennis and every Absolutely brilliant. 2-1. Win over Wolfsburg. The man has got black and blue in his blood. Representing Paderborn as we take three points against our rivals Wolfsburg. Next up Champions League quarterfinals. As you can see we're against Monaco. Tim the first leg and 1-1. But sadly, they've got the advantage. No, we're paddleboard. We faced you before and we've beaten you before, Monaco. So I'm sure we can do it again. And we're able to prove it as Fernandez to Thiago Armada. The Argentine. Oh, that was an awful tackle from their fullback. And you don't give Thiago that chance. We equal the away goal as Thiago the Argentine. Helps us get a 1-0 lead away against Monaco. 2-1 on an aggregate. But they got a free kick. Could they curl this one in? They go for it. Easily headed away. As we manage out Muslim back again to Boyo. And we've got the talent attack through ball into Javaro Darusin. Javaro able to get past the fullback. The counter attack. One dangerous into the other. And we get past their goalkeeper. Counter attack, absolutely beautiful. Back from the RB Sabadell days. Dust to dust, ash to ash, and we've secured a place to the semi finals of the Champions League. As our next opponent, semi finals of the German Cup against Borussia Dortmund, and things went awful. And I mean awful, not to spoil it. It's through ball into the Italian. He gets past Haaland all by himself. Gets past our goalkeeper, they take the lead. How many seasons have been in the Bundesliga now? I think it's five now. But we can't be able to stop Haaland and the defence needs to learn and learn. They take the lead. But things got much worse. Haaland again, my defenders are falling over. Through ball into Harry Barnes and the def Oh no. My 86 rated Turkish centre back won it then lost the ball in a matter of seconds and oh that's just embarrassing 2-0 down against Borussia Dortmund we're going for the treble and this is took a huge car crash and then icing on the cake pass to Bastos pass to the former paddleboard player gets it past on net 3-0 we swapped him for our worst side in Giovanni Reina and he's come back to haunt us 3-0 and this this could be all over the treble could die right here but no we've been here before 3-0 down Ryan Christie gets us one goal back we've been here before we've been three goals down we're able to get back in this we got one goal back and then seconds later 
we managed to get another one back. 3-2, 11 minutes to go. I have confidence in this squad. I have determination. We have been through thick and fire water with this squad. We've been down, we've been beaten, but sure this squad cannot give up now. As we get one more charge from the goalkeeper, pass to Joshua. We're able to get it through ball. Javaro Jerusalem, the one guy you want, sees the goal, goes for and blocked. And they get the chance. It's all over. We crashed out of the German Cup and the goal of getting a treble has failed. We lose 3-2 and that's the last of the match highlight. Let's go to the live games. Ah, oh, press conference, but you know Mr. Hawk is not in a good mood. Uh, oh, it's secure the Bundesliga title. Okay, that's kind of put a good mood on me. Yep, yeah, that's right. As we see from the table, we only need one point to secure the Bundesliga title. We were able to lose it against Borussia Dortmund, but now with just one win at our next game, or one point I should say, sorry, we're able to go for it. Boys are coming out. Just, I'm so frustrated. Just, you know, when you're frustrated, like, I was so confident we were able to get the treble. But damn it, we lost 3 2 to Borussia Dortmund. It's heartbreaking, but now can we regain what is truly ours, the Bundesliga title? Come on, Paderborn, don't let that loss against Borussia Dortmund put you down. All right, look at Ellie. The Italian Mastro over top through ball. Dennis and everybody takes a touch. It's a heavy one, goes for the chip, and oh no! Off the crossbar! Oh, that would have been a perfect start. And maybe I should really stop going for the chips these days. I just don't know. Are you right? You're gonna bang this one out long. Oh, managed to win it back. Devour Jerusalem. Come on, Dutch destroyer. Make him pay. Through ball. Dennis and every lovely touch. Goes for the chip again and it's in. 1-0 Paderborn. You, once you fail, you must try and try again and you will succeed. Dennis and every the first chip failed him, but that second one was a beauty. 1-0, we take the lead. Charleston. Going round. Oh, managed to tackle it, but nope. Into Fatty. Gabriel, no, Gabriel loses it. Alfie Fatty! Oh, fuck's sake. That guy again. The nightmares from the cup final last year. Fatty able to get past Gabriel, who's literally, you had no chance against him. Oh, they take the lead, but still, we only need a point. But they get the equaliser. Free kick and deadly angle right here. I think I fancy it. Bakarietta, who's been decent at free kicks. Takes it and oh, just wide. That's a shame. Got the ball, free ball into Devaro Darusen. Devaro trying to find his best. Oh, great opportunity. He goes for it, blocked, but it's not. And ball as they're going to go for it. It's half time. Well, I think honestly, and this is my honest opinion, nerves are getting to us. Losing against Dortmund, I've really put their sign down, but just can't let. The Red Bull Club getting back in this. Come on, Paderborn. We've got 45 minutes to secure the draw and secure the title. Dennis into Christie. Christie takes a lovely touch. He free boots it to Onomar. Onomar shoots. Yay! That's more like it. Second half nerves are dead and buried for Paderborn as we manage to get the lead. Onomar, the Belgium CDM. He loves to go forwards. And just this proves it right here. If you can score them, be my guest. Go forward as much as you can. Dini Wijnaldum back from his injury. Into Wilfred Zaha. Bakarieta into Wilfred Zaha. Zaha slipping and sliding. Game to get through. Finesse it in. 3-1. You can't give Wilfred Zaha that much time in the box. You either dive and give you a penalty or score. And Wilfred Zaha proves it right there. 3-1, we're able to get a firm hand grip on that Bundesliga plate trophy now. They're kicking off and uh, come on. They just, I just don't think that, oh wait, it's passed to Wolf and Zaha again. Wolf and Zaha able to steal it. The RB defense is shaking and we made it 4-1. 
Oh my god, that was just absolutely diabolical from the defence. Their partner Shaw Wilford Sahar is like, do you mind? Thank you. And we've made it 4-1. The trophy, it's all ours now. I can guarantee you that. All right, they're trying to go for it, pass it back. Stones, Stones lose it. It's the man with the fake ID, Souls. Soul all the time in the well shoot. Oh no, it gets worse. It gets absolutely worse for the Red Bull Club. 5-1, thanks to an own goal. Was I trying to get Zaha's hat-trick? You know I was. I passed it short and it hit the defender. It went in. Uh, oh, they panicked. Their defense just absolutely shot and panicked. All right, Richarlison. Dribbling about like a madman, pass it short, man to tackle it. 91st minute, I don't even care if they score to be fair. They're pretty much trying their best, it's full time! And well, we're not going the season trophy list as we've secured the Bundesliga title. Just, I'm not gonna lie, this season I felt I needed to win the Bundesliga because last season we just failed to capture it after Borussia Dortmund able to beat us for it. But no, the trophy is back in Paderborn camp. But uh, you know, fans, you're celebrating your hearts off. I don't blame you. They're all going up for the trophy now. Look at it. It just seems better and better. It's just... How are we able to get from... This club is known for a yo-yo club from getting promoted, then relegated. And now we're able to make them a known force in the Bundesliga. And only players in the Bundesliga. Forget that now. Ryan Christie. Ooh, champions, champions, ole, ole, ole. Paderborn are champions back again. But now we are going to go on to the Champions League now. Champions League semi-finals. And since the German Cup, we're not going to show a live game for that. I'm going to show you the live game for the second leg of the semi-finals. We, it's against Liverpool. Yeah. First leg we seemed it's 4-0. But you know what Liverpool's like with comebacks. Especially against Barcelona. Who scored for them again? Call it, take it quickly, Enrique! Yeah, that's it. Yeah, yeah, that was just memorable. So, we're at Anfield. <sighs> Amazing stadium, I'm not going to lie. Intimidation. That's Liverpool's game. But Paderborn, can we able to get back-to-back -back Champions League finals? I am not underestimating Liverpool at all. Come on, Paderborn. Let's do this. We're in. We got to pass to Dennis in there, into Onomar, Onomar into Christie, Christie trying to find the pass, Dennis and Nibri, come on, oh there it is, Dennis and Nibri, it's there, it's on the plate, just like the Bundesliga trophy, yeah pass to Dennis, you can't give him that much room, and the aggregate, we've got the away goal, it's 5-0 now, thanks to Dennis and Nibri. Alright, for being into Pogba, wait, why is Pogba a Liverpool player? This is just getting weird. Oh no, we failed to tackle. I was distracted by Popper's thirst and you go, oh good save by Thomas. Can we not let Liverpool back in this please? Great save though from Thomas the Albanian wonder. Alright, pass is short from defence. Then it's an every into Deval Derusin, into the back of Yata, cross it into the Scott Ryan Christie! That goal was beautiful! Pass in motion, Liverpool defence in absolute clueless like Barcelona did when they came here, but we didn't show any of that. Calm composure and what a goal from the Scotsman Ryan Christie. 2-0 now, 6-0 on aggregate. That Liverpool comeback is dying. Dennis and Ebri holding that ball. Half time's just round the corner. This would be great if we get another. And Bakriata shoot! Yeah! 7 0, 3 0 in the first half. Barris and Liverpool. Oh, things are just getting better and better. 
Yeah, I said we just need to go another goal to wrap things up. And I think it's dead and buried for Liverpool. You can't come back from seven goals. Bakary Atta gets past Allison. 7-0. Brilliant. I cannot argue with that. We are showing what we're made of today, folks. I am so happy. As Liverpool are going to kick off from the spot. It is half time. 3 0. I'm not going to lie, that couldn't have gone any better. And I think the finals is just around the corner. 45 minutes to play. But I feel like being 3 0 up, what I'm going to do is jump to Sim. Because I think that's going to be needed. And yeah, that's full time. Simmed it, nothing really happened. Still 3 0. As we win 7 0 on aggregate. We progress into the Champions League finals. Paderborn are back. And you hope you're ready for it. Whoever the team we've got to face in the finals. Let's get into that final live game of the season. Here we are. Champions League finals. Atletico Madrid. Now this is bringing back RB Sabadell. We remember the game we had against them. That was unbelievable. But this isn't about them. This is about Paderborn. The treble, we couldn't do. But back-to-back -back Champions League, that's something else. Players coming out. And, wait, this stadium looks familiar. Oh, my God, I know why this stadium's so familiar. This is the final ever game I played with Charlton Athletic when I lost against Barcelona. Oh, my God, the old career modes are coming back to haunt me as this is my last video of career mode FIFA 21. And this is just bringing back memories and memories. But this isn't about Charlton. This isn't about RB Sabadell. This is about Paderborn. The squad is stronger than ever. Dennis and Every, the captain leading the way. Can we do it? Can we do back-to-back -back Champions League? Can we do what Charlton failed and what Sabadell could not? Come on, Paderborn. Right, they're going to put... Oh, they're past the Jal Felix. You know how much of an absolute feline he is. Oh, that's the winner. I don't know why I call him a feline. But Ryan Christie's going to lead the charge. Come on. Counter-attack is on. Oh, what a run. But I decided to pass to Dennis Neary. Why Dennis? All right, back to Christie. Christie, through balls into Bakarietta. Devard Rosen all by himself. And he heads it over. The Dutch destroy and missed it. That was a golden opportunity to make it 1-0. But, oh, no. No, why? That would have been an absolutely beautiful header. Felix again. I feel a bit shaken, but oh, we managed to tackle him again. Face on by Ryan Christie, leading the counter attack. Come on, through balls it. Bakary Yatta. Come on, Bakary. Bakary sees the goal in sight. He goes for goal and gets the goal. We take the lead thanks to the first ever signing for Paddleborn. In this career mode, it's that man, Bakariata! What a signing! You never thought that once we sign him, he'll go on to score in the Champions League finals. But yes, he did! Bakariata! 1 0! What a start! Oh, brilliant! They're going to kick off right here. Ah, uh, just uh, so happy. Just I need a focus though, focus. And you pass it straight to Dennis and Every. Dennis and Every sees the goal in size. He shoots. It's 2 now. Oh, the defense. They took a lesson from RB Leitzberg. They panicked. They passed to the Dutch. No, the German destroyer. He's done it all. Finesse overhead kick score in Champions League finals. All he needs to do is run for there. 2 now. I think I need to calm down. Whew, deep breaths, come on. We've got the ball here from Onomar. Onomar, going to lead the charge. Come on, Onomar. Oh, this will be brilliant if we get three. This will be absolutely brilliant, but nope. Onomar, pass it back. Dennis Nebri. Dennis trying to find the pass. Oh, he's able to do it by himself. Dennis shoots, and that's 3 0. 3 0 in the Champions League finals in the first half. Atletico Madrid, what has happened? Dennis and Ebri, I saw Javar Drews and I thought, you know what, I'm going to pass. Nah, screw it, go by yourself. And Dennis and Ebri, what a shot. 3 0 against Atletico. And they got a corner. They gotta do something out of this. 
Atletico Madrid are really, really stun struck. As the header leads to nothing, they put. I think they're peeling for handball, but Bakariata says, you know what, I'm just going to go for the run. I'm just going to go for a run. Bakariata gets past their centre backs. He sees Ryan Christie in the box. He volleys at home. Counter attack, beautiful. Instead of complaining, instead of moaning, Ryan Christie goes up the end and makes it 4 0. Of course, I wanted to get him get a goal. He freaking deserves it. One of the best players I've played with in FIFA this year. Ryan Christie, the Scott Maestro, makes it 4 0. Passing across, Felix. Half time, it's just around the corner. We win it off him again. How many times he's lost the ball for us? Dennis Sinebri. Can we make it five over top through ball? It's a bit too heavy. It's into Javar Derusen. Cross it in. Header. Nope. One out for a corner. This has just been absolutely unbelievable. That man has really mucked up Felix. Derusen going to cross this one in. The salmon heads. Nope. Unlucky. They boot it away. And it's half time. 4 0. What a start for Paddleboard. We've been dominating from the defence to the striker. The goalkeeper, he needs to do is set himself an armchair because he's done nothing. And I don't mean that in a bad way. You may be thinking 4-0, oh, you just probably put sliders. Here's the sliders. Literally, the opposition, they've got better goal shots. They've got better passing. So no errors for them. Touch errors have gone down. Marking as well as that goalkeeper has gone up for them. Yeah, sliders up for them. But as well as that, for me, I've got no sliders. I'm going up and down right here. There's nothing on me. So literally, I'm not cheating. I've made it harder for myself for Atletico Madrid. So yeah, that shuts those people in the comments think I'm using sliders. But now we go on to the second half. Can we put the nail in the coffin? Dennis Sabri on the ball to Bakariata. Bakariata trying to find someone. Cuts pass into Olimar, into Dennis and every shoots and Olimar. No, sorry, all black, I should say. Makes a really, really good save. Dennis in every shot. Whew, that was such a lethal. Trying to go for the hat trick, but no, that's a good save from all black. Dennis in every on that ball. Gonna find something. 85th minute is gate. The second half has been really, really light. Cuts pass. Able to go for Ness. It's a good save from all black. He's really showed himself in the second half. Javar Darusin. Hey, oh, trying to be going backwards, mate. The goal's that way. He gets tackled. Now Atletico's on the ball, trying to pass it short, trying to at least do something because this has been an absolute embarrassing night for them. They're on the ball, trying to go. Over. Oh, what? A, you pass it straight to Thiago. Into Derusen. Derusen on the run. Through ball it into J Dennis and every Dennis cuts past the Vanessa. He's activated. Oh, no, it's gone over. Oh, that would have been a good way to secure the hat trick, but you blasted that right in the atmosphere. All black, it's literally, this is going to be the final kick of the game. He boots it long. Referee, come on, and it's over. We have secured the Champions League. Sorry, the second half was really flat, really boring, but we're able to do it again. We're able to get back-to-back -back Champions League, something I failed to do. In my past career modes on this channel. And yet Paderborn have done it. At the stadium that I feared most while doing Charlton Athletic. We're able to do it for Paderborn. They've gone mad. They can't believe it. Back to back Champions League. We've been through thick and high water. This would have been better if I won the treble. But sadly that's not the case. That's something to do with FIFA 22. Oh, Champions League, and it's back. The black and blue on that Champions League trophy. It looks so good in Paderborn colours. This club was known as a yo-yo. A second-tier wonder. But now, they are known as Champions League winners. It's Dennis Sinebri, the man, the one. He deserves to lift that trophy as Paderborn are Champions League winners. Yet again. I am so, so happy with this team. The performance, the effort they put into it. The champion is again. And sadly, that's going to be it. That's the last game I play with on FIFA 21 career mode. Thank you ever so much, Paddleborn. Uh, before... No, wait.
before we end this episode, we show the top scores of the season. Dennis and every put his boots and laces in. 40 goals for him. What a performance. Then we've got Jessica Unbeli Unbelievable, 28. 26 for Darusen, 24 for Bakariata. Almost in the 20s is Tiago and Ryan Christie. And just going down Believer, it's just Wilford Zaha Doddy. Literally, I haven't had a bad performer this season, unlike last season. They've all put their boots in. Brilliant, brilliant, brilliant. So happy. On to the assists now. As we get through Ryan Christie, 27. You, my friend, deserve a statue. Same with Dennis Sinebri. You two deserve a statue if you two lift the Champions League outside the stadium. Then we got Dennis Sinebri, 21. Bakary Yatet, Iago, then Bocatelli, Darusen, Olimar, Jessic, and Danny Moore. And oh, wait, my goalkeeper got an assist. You know what, Thomas? Well done, you did great. I wish I signed you a lot earlier. If you played for half a billion earlier, I would have signed you. But you know what I mean. Going to the squad, the final bye-bye. I tip my fedora to all of you. You all deserve it. Because looking back, season one, this is the squad we had. I thought, I don't know anyone apart from Dennis and Every who was a failure at Norwich. And now look at this team. Dennis and Every make Norwich regret ever selling him. We brought in players. That's the thing. We brought players only from the league we were in. So in the second tier, when we were in, we only bought players there. That's how we found the beautiful Bakary Yatta. As well as that, we got promoted and able to find gems. Ryan Christie, even though he played for Celtic, he played for Stuttgart in career mode. So I was allowed to sign him. Just brilliant, brilliant, brilliant. I, all these players deserve a tap. I, this has taught me a lesson about signings. Just go for your own league. It may be better. And with that, that's going to be the outro. Whew. Like I said, from the, we got this side into a Yo-Yo club. We won the second tier. We won the German Cup. We won the Europa League. We won the Bundesliga. And we managed to win back-to-back -back Champions League. Absolutely phenomenal effort from the boys. And that's going to be goodbye. We've still got one more week before FIFA. So I'll try and upload something. I can't keep it secret for what it is, but I'll tell you later. You'll see it later. And as well as that, I hope you enjoy. If you enjoy this series, please leave it a like. Subscribe to the channel for more FIFA content. And as always, I'll see you lovely people later.